What's up, what's up? It's your boy Jones and Man, and I'm with Jones and on Rolling Fork Run. This is Rolling Fork. I actually first discovered this when I was in Louisville at the Bourbon Classic. Uh, and I actually met one of the two guys, two friends, who kind of linked up and started doing some wild and crazy things with rum and rum and whiskey um, and kind of birthed a brand of its own. Special shouts out to my man, the hood, Somalier, who kind of did the introduction there. Um, we ended up going to, I can't even think of, I want to say like Everett's maybe, I'm not sure, but a little uh, liquor store right there in Louisville and the man... I got to taste several of these and I was like, when I can get a chance to get my, to get my hands on some, I'm going to make that happen. So that's exactly what happened. I got me this rolling fork. This is the, it's cash strength. It is the Dominican Republic. So a couple of things, very simple label, simple bottle, uh, not overcomplicated. Everyone has an age statement on it. This one's six years old. Um, there's also some more detail here on the label. So it says cast number WLR11, uh, bottled in Kentucky. So all of their rum is sourced. Um, I hear a lot of it sourced from Foursquare, which is another juggernaut when it comes to whiskey. But what's particularly interesting about this one is it is aged four years in bourbon cast and then an additional two years in X weeded cast aged in ex bourbon cast for four years and then two years in bourbon cast from kentucky so that wlr leads me to believe that that's probably william larue weller um which super excited me about that uh, i'm not a big dominican rum guy i i, I like you know i like barcelo um, but just Dominican rum is typically not my, my automatic go-to. Uh, but I have this ton that I haven't tried. So let's get into it. This is also 55.7%. So that cast strength, she's coming in hot, baby. We're going to pop that, baby. Get that paper off there so y'all can hear this pop. Ooh, it's a little pop, a little light pop. It is, uh, I think National Rum, National Rum Day was this week, so it's only fitting. Woo, smells Dominican right off the bat. But, woo, like the singe my nose has in there. That's some heat in that glass. But there's some, some, some caramel and toffee underneath there. Ooh, okay. Okay, gorgeous color on there. More like a golden, um, as you slide around there, it coats the glass, which makes me, me which lets me know it's going to have a really good mouthfeel to it. Let's go ahead and taste this thing. Might have to give it a second taste because she's got some heat to her, but wow. Ooh, oh, is that toffee and butterscotch? Wow, you know, ooh, oh, let me go back, let me go back. Yeah, that is solid. Wow, you know, the, the heat factor and, and the fl overall flavor profile kind of reminds me a little bit of OFTD. Um, just from the elevated heat factor, but wow, that's what, 110, 111? That's solid. One of the things I noticed on the website, it talked about how the, the rums that they put out were cocktail proof. And, you know, at this high proof, you can make any rum cocktail and the rum is still going to be dominant there. Um, 
It does have a Dominican style to it, which honestly, I, I, I don't know. I don't mind it at all. I, I find it very enjoyable. As a matter of fact, I don't know if that's because it's the, the rum that went into the barrel or because that experience with the bourbon barrel and that weeded barrel. Because it, while it does have heat, um, like I don't get it in my chest. I just get a little, little bit on the sides of my tongue. Now, I don't have my ice ball like I would love to have, and I'm regretting it even more right now, but I'm going to get me a couple ice, a couple ice cubes um, to put this on. Got me a couple ice cubes. We're going to slide that across there. Um, it's got really good body to it. Nice flavor. Like I said, it's a, it's a little bit of caramel. It's a little toffee-ish, but uh, it could easily be a sipper. Easily be a sipper. Oh, yeah. Um, that ice tapers it down a little bit, brings a little bit of more of that uh, Dominican char character. Uh, can't even talk tonight. The Dominican characteristics out, but it also almost uh, fluffs it up, fills the mouth up really well. Yeah. I like that. I like that. You know, I don't remember the price. I don't. I have to try and look it up. Um, it's not one of their main three expressions. That's one of the things I love and I kind of hate too. Um, they do, they've got a, a, a three main products, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. And then as they've got all of these batch releases that happen. So you might find something wonderful and fantastic. And if you don't buy up enough of them, you might not ever get it again. That's the, that's the thing I hate about it. Uh, but I definitely enjoy this. I'm going to give it a rating of wow with the proof of everything. I'm gonna give it a four. We give it a four. Probably yeah, a e easy four. Rolling fork, y'all have done it again, baby. Uh, I will be picking up more of these and adding them to the collection. It's National Rum. Uh, uh, well, it was I think it was Tuesday of this week, but we're gonna call it National Rum Week. If you get a chance to hit yourself up, if you get a chance to grab yourself some rolling fork, pick up a bottle. It'll probably be different than this one, but grab it anyway and give it a chance because um, they're putting out some solid products, man. And I enjoy this. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and the Tiki Talk is. Uh, grab yourself something fantastic from jonesandman.com. I use my code Clinkum5. Clinkum and drink them. And we'll see you next time. Happy National Rum Day.